Hello, welcome back to the channel. This week we've had some really exciting stuff happening. I picked up some corners, I put up some plasterboard and I painted a wall in a new colour scheme. So stick with me and we'll show you what work we got done for the week. Okay, so that takes care of the little bits that I hadn't got around to putting in yet of plasterboard. Um, so I'm going to go and get the white undercoat and I'm going to coat each one of these arches. And if I've got time, I'll come back and give them a second coat because the MDF really sucks it in. So I'll do that and then uh, I'll get onto this little niche area and I'll paint the colours that uh, I bought a couple of sample pots. And we'll paint that and uh, see how this scheme looks. Hello again. So I've just got home from work and I'm going to do a little bit of work on the house before I get my relax on. And uh, today at work I made up some picture rail. Now this isn't necessarily going to be the finished style but I wanted just something to mimic it for the moment. It's just made out of a bit of MDF and then a strip of pine which is actually the beading off the doors. Um, so I'm going to put that up um, on the wall uh, from the door to the corner and then across two little bits there and maybe come back there <clears throat> and um, And then I'm going to paint the sample paint that I got 
on there so we can picture it with a white picture rail, um, the colour there, the white arch, all those things and see if we like it or not otherwise you know um, I, I just like to get a really good picture not just paint, paint a little square and go oh yeah I like that you might as well hold the card up so yeah I'm gonna paint that yellow get rid of that yellow there because that really is too lemony for us and we decided not to go for the yellow down the main areas of the house so yeah I'll get in and I'll uh, fix this picture rail up and then we'll start uh, well I'll undercoat the picture rail and then we'll start putting some of the colour on the wall Well, it looks like the um, guys at Bunnings have screwed me over and given me two of the same colour. Quite obvious. That's what it's supposed to look like. And that's what I've got. So I'll have to go and see if they'll give me another one or just buy another one the right colour and uh, redo the top. But I'll have to wait for it to dry to really get a good effect. Uh, or get the full effect uh, but I'm not sure need to get the furniture back the mirror up um, you know some things like that around once it's got the skirting across there as well um, that's going to really make it pop and of course the floor's done so um, yeah just a bit of an idea for the moment so I'll leave it at that for now and I'll uh, probably tomorrow night I'll go down and I'll finish undercoating these arches and maybe start um, plastering up these corners. Hi guys, just wanted to have a little bit of a chat, not doing any work tonight. I've, I've just worked a 13 hour day and uh, I stopped in at the plaster place and uh, come home and I just want to do a bit of show and tell. So first corners off the rank, uh, so I've got 13 of these coming and this is going to do the whole hallway. So this is, I'm so excited about this. It's going to look awesome. Like this cornice is huge. I mean, you probably can't see uh, the, the, on camera. It's not going to be doing it justice. But um, this is the top and, uh, and this is where the wall is. It comes out onto the ceiling further than it comes down the wall. Uh, it's just the design that it is. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna look great. There's, there's heaps of these rose patterns along there. Up on that little sample up there, there's only one little rose. You don't know how close they are. And you can't see these, um, these little ridges along here. And it gives a, another uh, aspect of uh, pattern on this cornice just to 
when you look down there, just something else catch your eye and you go, oh yeah, it's got some lines coming down as well. So yeah, I did crack it, bringing it home. Alrighty, so now that uh, I'm all excited about the cornice and all that stuff, I'm gonna go around and start taking these cover battens off. Uh, I'm gonna take down that bit of cornice from up there. Oh, by the way, Lily's on the scent of a mouse. We've got a mouse plague uh, that's coming through South Australia at the moment. And she is an awesome mouser. She's got the scent, there's a mouse under the floor. And <laughs> the amount of, when she breathes in, the amount of air she takes in to get the scent is crazy. It's the funniest thing. So, she, if you, I don't know if you can hear her sniffing down there. I'll just be quiet for a second. <laughs> so anyway, she's catching mice. And uh, I'm... Oi, hey! Leave the wall alone. She's going to go clean through the wall to try and get to the mice. Only problem is the mice are in the floor. They're not in the wall. She can smell them through a crack in the floor and they, they got, they, I know you can hear them squeaking in different parts of the house underneath the floor. Um, there's, there's holes. They, the mice eat through a wire mesh, like fly, fly screen, and to get in to get out of the cold or whatever. It's, I, I didn't think they would eat through wire mesh, but they do, and that's how they get under the house. So anyway, forget about that. And uh, so I'm gonna take these cover battens down the corners, um, and I've just picked up sh uh, six sheets of plasterboard. So I'm gonna see how far I get and see if I can get this area all done today. And if I can get that done, then tomorrow at work, I'll make up the mitre box for the corners and I'll work out, it would probably be, because it's 4.2, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure out the best place to put it. I might go, the, no, I can't do both ends. So I might just get start there and then I'll have to wait, but it'll be good. If we get a full piece up there, then when we walk in and look at it, we'll be able to get a nice view of that until we get the rest of the corners. So anyway, that's what I plan on doing. So I'll, I've, I've got some wiring to do. I've got to bring a, a wire through for these lights in both these bays, but uh, I'd, I've hurt my neck. Um, I think I heard it last night in bed of all places. And I've come home a bit early because trying to do what I had to do at work today, it was just, it was just really, you know, it was a niggling pain. It's not bad pain, but it's just annoying. And I felt like I don't want to be there. So I'll see how I go. I don't know if I'll be able to put this plasterboard up, but we'll see. So, yep, I'll start with pulling them off and we'll see how we go.
Just before I sign off for the night, guys, I just did a little bit of a mock-up here of what the ceiling, how the ceiling's going to be laid out uh, down the hallway. So obviously, you've got your corner see the side, and then you've got these cover battens, and then I've got two roses coming that are shaped kind of like that, uh, that will go in between. Now that's not going to have a light on it. It's um, just a decorative rose. So yeah, it's, uh, I was a bit worried that it was going to be a bit from there to there was going to be a bit tight and then you put the rose in there. But there's a bit of space there, which is good. When I get the rose, I'll measure it more accurately because I'm just going, I know it's 450, but is it 450 or is it 450 plus the bits that stick out? So I'll suss that out. And then if I need to move these over, I can come over a bit more, but I do like this space here. It's about 150 so or six inches. Um, so yeah, that's uh, when we're looking up, that's what we'll see. Something here I want to show you. So this is the wood lathe I mentioned a long time ago. Um, the reason I haven't done anything with it is because I had to modify it and it didn't have a motor. Now this, this is a homemade lathe and me and my brother, when we were about 12, we used to go down the shed and turn up different things on here. My brother used to do a lot of little like goblet things out of different timbers. He'd get timber off of like there was uh, an apricot tree that got cut down and he got a heap of the timber and that's beautiful timber. So this is a lathe that we used as a kid. And my brother's, I've had it for, uh, I've probably had it for about five years on and off um, over the, the last 40 years. Um, but my brother was given this by, I think it was our neighbour, and this has been, he, he's had this, I, I borrowed it for quite a while to do some furniture, and then I gave it back and he had it in his shed taken up room so he gave it to a mate and then his mate didn't want it and then I said hey have you got that lathe and he goes oh yeah it's at work I'll bring it home and and here we are so I've got the lathe back um, I've modified this so the lathe originally that was the original bed and it was all the way up here so it was I haven't lengthened it by too much but what I've done is I've cut this down so we can turn some big bowls on here, or it, it, it's not real big that way to turn up like a massive thing, but we can, we can still turn up a lot of things. My son Cooper, that you've seen, he wants to play around on this, and I said, oh, you can turn up, make some lamps, you can make, all sorts of different things on the lathe. You just got to look into it. Um, he's going to play around with this. So what I've got it for is a few things. So now that I've got it modified, I've just got to get some bolts so that longer bolts so I can bolt these things up and, and hey presto, I've got it all working. So I've got a switch. I've even got a... Um, I bought this um, variable speed doovie, whatever it's called. I got that from China and I've, I've used it. It works, but uh, I've got to get my brother who uh, it's his, this is his line of work doing electrical stuff. I've got to ask him why it doesn't just run smoothly, but slower. It kind of surges. So I'll, I'll see what the story is with that. Um, so what am I going to do with it? That's the question. All right, so get back to that story. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be making up the turn pieces that go down the edge for my desk, for my uh, like computer desk, but it's going to be a Victorian style desk. So that'll have, that'll have turn pieces on it. Um, I'm going to, well, there's a whole heap of furniture I want to make. I was going to turn up the rosettes for um, the, all the architraves, but I'm not going down that 
path now, so I won't do them, but I could have done them. But now you'll crack up laughing when I tell you this, because you'll go, oh God, he's always up to something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the light fixtures. So I've got some copper pipe that can be bent and I can run the cables through. And I'm going to turn up a whole heap of pieces here. And over the next few weeks, because I want to get the hallway lights in, and that's why I did this now, I'm going to make the hallway lights, the wall hung lights, Victorian style, double, um, it's going to have a double, uh, they called shades, the glass, um, whatever they're called. It's going to be a double one uh, with a little candle globe in it. So they won't be heaps bright, but they'll be a nice yellow kind of light, I'm thinking. That's just what I sort of got going through my head at the moment. So they're going to be a double one. So I'm going to have a, a round thing on the wall that will turn up here. I'm then going to um, make the, uh, a, a bar that goes across. Well, I might get a bit of steel for that. Or I might even use um, the uh, PVC piping, a bit of that. Then I'm going to make up some little ends to cap it off. They're nice, little shaped with a little knob on the end. Uh, and then I'm going to get the copper pipe and I'm going to bend that around. I'm going to make another thing that's turned and all you know, intricate shapes. And then I'll turn the little bit up that the globe goes in. I've got to wait until I get the, uh, the actual glass pieces, the shades or whatever they are. They're coming from China. I've got four of them coming. So that last little bit on top might have to wait or I'll get impatient and I'll find something else here that I can get straight away. Anyway, I'm excited. So I'll probably do most of it here, but I might clear my shed out. I've got a bench here that I can take home and do it in my shed at home so I, can, I don't have to spend you know, heaps long here. So yeah, uh, I, haven't, I haven't let you in on this little gem but you know how I'm making the, um, uh, the ceiling rows for the parlour? Another thing I'm going to do on here is make up the chandelier. I'm going to make a chandelier. Same way I'm going to make these little wall hung fixtures. Turn bits, copper, um, bits of MDF. And then I'm going to paint it copper. And then I'm going to put a tarnished copper, like a brown over the top and rub it through to the bright copper so that the light, uh, sorry, uh, what have I got? Antique brass, copper or brass, no it is copper. Um, so I'm gonna rub it through so it matches all the rest of it and then I'm gonna, I've already looked on eBay, you can buy the little um, crystal things, you can buy bits that are, uh, you know, about four or five, that hang and then you can get little ones and you, you can buy all the stuff and it's dirt cheap. So I'm going to spend a bit of time making it. It's not cheap that way, but that's what I've got installed for this lathe. So a few little things left to do and then I can start turning and turning things up. So just thought I'd show you that and you can see I've been working on it. I've got my welder over there. I've had to extend this, add these bits on. I had to make this whole bit for this motor to attach. Um, quite a bit of work just in doing that because it's got all, it's got a pivot and it's so that I can change the speed on it. Uh, it's got a slide across. So that's what I've been doing today. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna leave it sitting here tonight. I'll move it first thing in the morning because I wanna get home and I wanna run some wires around and I want to put the sconces on the wall in the hallway because I've started to put the plasterboard up as you've just seen and I want to get light switches for the kitchen and the hallway and I want to get try and see if I can get all those wires run tonight and then do some more plasterboard work and then that'll do it for this video because um, I've got to get this up to you this Friday because I missed last Friday so I won't muck around anymore. I'll pack up the camera, throw it in the car, and I'll head home. 
I'll clean myself up a bit. I've probably got black stuff all over my face. Welding's a dirty game. But yeah, we'll go home now and I'll start running some wires and we'll see how far we can get tonight. Hello again. So back at the house, <clears throat> believe it or not, I signed off in the workshop. I've come home, I've eaten a pie, but, uh, and I'm back on camera. So it was literally like an hour ago. So I'm gonna run these wires for these lights. So I'm just, I've dragged the ladder out. I've just gotta um, drill some holes up in to the wall and then up through the top plate of the, the timber frame. So I can, like I did down at the front, feed those wires down. So this will be a power cable coming down and poking out there. And then I'm, I'm doing the light switch for the, um, uh, the hallway lights and the light switch for this light switch that's hanging here for the kitchen. So I'm gonna put um, that on, so ho see if uh, hopefully I can get that wired up tonight and we can then be using that. And then down in the middle of this next bay, I've done the same thing, drilled a hole for where the light's gonna go and up so I can bring that wire down. So that will be, they'll both be power cables. These will just be a switch cable and I've got the switch cables at the other end. So the only downfall is I've got to work out which one is the switch cable with the, that's connected to the, um, the roll of wire. I don't want to pull the other one up. So that's going to be a bit of a bugger, but I might, I might um, tie that other one really tight. So when I go, oh, that's not moving. That's not the one I want and I'll grab the other wire. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll get in and do that. I'm not going to take you upstairs, upstairs. I'm not going to take you up in the roof this time because that's a bit boring. You've seen it. It's just walking across beams, playing around with the wires and, um, and then coming back down the ladder. So I'm not going to worry about filming that. I'll film once I get, I'll, I'll get all these wires run because I need to do that relatively quickly. So once I've got the wires poking out, I'll come back and I'll tell you sort of where I'm at and what I'm doing then, all right? So I'll see you shortly. All right, guys, so I'm um, going along pretty well. I've got the switches, so kitchen, hallway, both the, the two lights. Um, I've got the, uh, the sconce with the globe in it in the two bays, and I've done the uh, front switches as well. So I'll turn you around, I'll show you the other bit. So there's the sconce. Um, I've just got a globe sticking out of it. This is where I'll be making those um, light fixtures with the twin up lit, um, I don't know what you call them, but you, you know what I'm talking about. So there'll be two uh, shades going up on both these. So that is in the middle of this bay. I didn't want to put it in the middle of there to there because I want it to be lit right onto the ceiling rows in both, uh, in both bays. So I'll take you down and show you the next one. So there's the next one above William and Ellen's, um, my great grandparents' um, wedding photo. That won't stay there, but uh, at least it'll sort of light that up at the moment. Um, so that's in the middle of this bay. And oh, I've, I've worked it all out. The picture rail is going to be the top of the transom going around. This is in the middle of the transom on both them. And everything's, I'm working everything out so that it all lines up. So here I've got the three switches I needed here. So we've got the outside light, we've got this chandelier, and then we've got the hallway lights. Okay guys, well that's the end of the video for tonight. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing those things come together this week. Uh, I am going to be installing some of the cornice and putting up another video on Sunday night. So you'll get two videos quite quickly. So uh, I can't wait to get this cornice up and if I can't wait to get it up, I figure that you guys might wanna see it. So I'll get another video out on Sunday. And uh, until then, you enjoy your weekend, you take care and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.